Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about something a bit more modern, and that is the next release of the Mac OS. Now, I know primarily this is a retro channel and I don't really dive into things that are too modern here, uh, but I have a good reason this time. Apple has gone ahead and changed something that I want to talk about. And no, it's not the startup sound, although I am happy that they did bring the startup chime back to the Mac, and you can even turn it on and off in system preferences. However, what I learned was that the new version of Mac OS, they've gone and done something big. They've decided to go ahead and redo all of the Macintosh system sound effects that are in the operating system. These are the sounds and system preferences that you use for alerts, and these have been around since the early days of the Mac OS, all the way through Mac OS 8, Mac OS 9, and Mac OS 10. Now to clarify, most of the original system sounds from the system 7 days, like the beloved simple beep, the quack, and the wild eep, have been long since removed from the Mac OS. However, in Mac OS 8 and Mac OS 9, we got a few different sounds, like Submarine and Uh-oh, while removing things like the Wild Eep. As we made the jump to Mac OS 10, these sounds largely remained the same, although 1 and 2 came and went over the few releases over those years. So what Apple did is they completely remade each of the remaining 14 sound effects that are in the Mac OS. So in Mac OS 11, it's still going to take a long time to get used to, we have completely new sounds. What I found interesting was that they renamed all the sounds under System Preferences. So if you go to System Preferences in Big Sur and click on the Sounds button, you'll see a list of all brand new sounds. However, if you look in the Sounds folder on your hard drive, you'll notice all of the sounds are there, but with the old names. Thankfully, this helped me do a little bit of a name that tune type situation, and I was able to guess which of the new sounds correlate to the old sound file names. So if you want, you can play along at home and try and guess which of the new sounds are replacements of the old sounds. Are you ready? All right, let's dive right into it. So I'll just open System Preferences here in Big Sur, and I'll just go in the order that they are listed here in System Preferences. Okay, first off, we'll start with Boop. That's a short one. Let's hear it again. All right, nothing wrong with that. Now, can you guess which of the original sounds this replaced? It was this one. That sound was labeled Tink. They sound kind of similar. The new one sounds more like a water drop a little bit. I guess I could go either way on this one. The next sound is Breeze. Okay, that's a nice pleasant sound. Now here's the original. The original was titled Blow. I like both of these, but the original has a longer fade and a completely different mood. Okay, here's the next sound, bubble. Okay, this sounds almost like a quick double knock. Now let's hear the original it replaces. The original was called pop. I actually like the new one a bit better. Huh, it's interesting that some of these sound file names actually take some influence from the old ones as well. The next sound is crystal. Okay, this isn't bad. I like it. Now the original is, of course, well, glass. The older sound, I think, commands my attention more, but this is a little more calming, so to each their own. The next sound is funky. Okay, I would like this one. Although, they just changed one letter around here, so it's a bit obvious that this is a replacement for the sound funk. To me, these sound totally different, but I do like them both. They have a completely different attitude about them. The next sound is heroin. This one is interesting. It sounds kind of like the original, but it almost sounds more like a drum beat to me. Again, the name gives it away here. The original sound is hero. To me, the original sounds like a horn or a flute, almost like a warning sound you'd hear from a train in the distance. But the new sound is almost like a drum beat. Okay, the next sound is jump. Okay, now this one I like. It's different, but it's short and interesting. I like it more because I think it complements the original. The original sound it replaces is... Frog. Well, to me, frog sounds, well, like a ribbit of a frog. Now, although these two sounds are different, they almost go together if you think about it. Think of it as a frog ribbiting in the original sound, and then it jumping and making a drip noise in a pond. 
See what I mean? Eh, maybe I went too far on that one. The next sound is mezzo. Now that isn't bad. I like it. It's more of a soothing version of the original. The original sound was... Basso. The original sound has more of a sudden alert noise to it. Whereas this one is more calming which I guess can be said about most of these new sounds. The next sound up is Pebble. I like this one. Again, a nice little sound. It's longer than the sound that it replaces, but it has a similar vibe to it. Here is the original sound it replaces. That sound was called Bottle. The original sound is much shorter, but if you listen to them back to back, you could kind of hear the influence of the old one in the new sound. Or at least I think so. The next sound is pluck. This new sound isn't bad. It sounds similar to the old one. Can you guess which one it is? The original sound was purr. This new sound has more of a bounce to it. But I do like them both. The next new sound is pong. That's a short one, so let's hear it again. This one is nice. I quite like it. Yeah, it's a bit different from the original. Here's the original sound. It's a short one, so I'll play it a few times. The old sound was Morse. The new sound is much heavier at the start and more pronounced. I actually think I like the new one a bit better. The next sound up is Sonar. This one is cool. It almost sounds like the old purr sound. So which sound does it replace? Well, it doesn't replace purr because that was already replaced by pluck. This sound replaces ping. While I hear the similarities, they sound more different to my ears. Sonar has more of a pronounced echo, while ping is louder at the start before fading off. This one's actually tough because I do like them both. The second to last sound here is sosumi. Now this sound has a lot of history to it. I won't tell the whole story here, but Apple got in some trouble when they tried to release this sound and were accused of, well, making something other than just a simple sound. I'll put a link in the video description text box for more information about the history of this sound. Maybe this is why it's the only sound to have retained its original name. So that's a win on its own. The new version, well, it kind of sounds sort of futuristic. But it's nice. In my opinion, I can't deny the original sound is much, much more my style. Ah, it always makes me smile. Last but not least is Submerge. Okay, yeah, this is a remake of Submarine, hence the name. Actually, I don't hate it, although I do love the original sound. The bass and just the way it sounds, especially on the original iMac, those speakers, it just made it sound so awesome. So this one isn't bad, it's a bit shorter, but just like Sosumi, I'll have to side with the original on this one. Ah yes, that takes me back. So what did you guys think? Did you like the new sounds? Did you prefer some of the old ones? Were you split on a few of them? I personally like some of the new sounds, although I do prefer a lot of the older ones. It is nice to see Apple reinventing some of their now classic things here and there. I don't think it'll be a huge concern for people, especially those who are not used to the old sound effects. These new ones will take some getting used to, but since I'm not even on a newer version of the Mac OS, that's something I'm not really going to worry about right now. Now, in previous versions of the Mac OS, it was quite easy to drag and drop sound files from your computer into that sounds folder so you could play them as your system alerts. However, that doesn't seem to be the case in Big Sur and maybe Catalina or Mojave as well. I really haven't played around with those systems too much as I'm still on High Sierra on one of my computers. However, in macOS Big Sur, I did try and do a drag and drop of some of the old sounds into the new sounds folder. Sadly, it just wouldn't let me do it. I even tried to modify the folder permissions to let me write files into this folder. Thankfully, the solution turned out to be quite simple. A big thanks to Bruce Rain of Brankus Creations for the tip. Simply navigate to the library folder in your local user directory and open the sounds folder. The easiest way to do this is to use the go to folder option in the finder. 
Then you can easily just drag and drop your new sounds to the folder. Now your system preferences can be filled with all sorts of awesome sounds. Having the ability to add these classic sounds into the Mac OS gives you the best of both worlds. Well, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed a sneak peek at the new sounds in Mac OS Big Sur and a trip down memory lane of the classic Mac OS sound effects. If you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Hit the little subscribe button and be sure to hit that little bell icon as well. That'll make sure that you're notified when I do a live stream or release videos like this. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, my handle is Mac84TV. A huge shout out goes to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. For as little as a dollar per month, you can get exclusive access and early previews of videos like this one, as well as behind the scenes content and other goodies you just can't get anywhere else. Again, thank you to everybody who supports my channel. This has been Steve from Mac84. I'll see you next time.